Who's ready for a big money showdown? The Callaway Epic Forged Irons against the TaylorMade P790 Ti Irons. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Just before we get into this video, as always, I want you to be a part of my videos and I want you to comment below. In this video, I want you to comment below which irons would you choose if you had the budget, if money wasn't an object, would you go TaylorMade P790 Ti or would you go Callaway Epic Forged? Let me know. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you do consider clicking that subscribe button below. And while you're there, make sure you do ring the notification bell and that way you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. Hopefully, in order to help you raise your game, generally to help you lower that handicap, but mainly just to get you enjoying golf loads more. And I'm so excited about this video because I am putting head to head some of the most exciting, but also most expensive irons of 2019 going into 2020. Oh, I have missed these. Starting off with the Callaway Epic Forged Irons. I have all these clubs in eight iron, six iron and four iron, so we're gonna give them a proper workout, a proper test. We're gonna talk a little bit on specs. However, I have done a review on both these clubs. So if you do wanna see every nth degree of technology that goes into them, make sure you do check that out and I will link them below or above wherever it goes. So the reason for this video is I've just finished a full review of the brand new TaylorMade P790 Ti irons. I'm not gonna lie, they were all right, but I thought, what else have I tested this year that's that premium, that expensive, gets people talking that much? Enter Callaway Epic Forged. Now the initial difference that I do see here is the head size. So the Callaway Epic Forged is way smaller, way sleeker, much more of a kind of player's looking iron as opposed to the P790 Ti, which is a lot longer blade length, a lot thicker top line, and just looks a lot more kind of user friendly to most people. But obviously for me, that's not necessarily what I would be looking for personally. The force just feels so soft. So I'm gonna hit a handful of shots with the four iron, the six iron, the eight iron, with the Epic Forged, and I have already done so with the P790 Ti, but I'm gonna feed it into this video for you so we can have a proper comparison. Now that's three shots I've just hit with the Epic Forged eight iron, and I'm not gonna lie. Is the three ball flights there or is the one? You tell me. Now obviously it wouldn't be a proper comparison if we didn't talk tech and spec, would it? So, the first real bad one. So technology that you do get in the Callaway Epic Forged iron, you do get the 360 face cup technology for more ball speed, you get the spin control variable face thickness for consistent distance, you also get the controlled launch and distance from the suspended tungsten core, and let's not forget the Aerotech steel fibre shaft which comes standard in this club. So there is plenty of tech going on in the Callaway Epic Forged Iron, but what about specs? Wow. You see, when I did the review of these clubs, the word that was on everybody's lips was loft. The too strong lofted, the way too strong lofted, an eight iron's basically a seven iron and so on and so forth. So just a quick reminder of what the lofts are for the Callaway Epic Forged irons. In the eight iron that we're gaming now, the loft is 31 and a half degrees. In the six iron, it's 24 degrees. And in the four iron is 18 degrees. Compare that with the TaylorMade P790 Ti irons where the four iron's 19 degrees, the six iron's 25 degrees, and the eight iron is 32 and a half degrees. So we have a one degree difference throughout the sets there. And these are still stronger. Another difference you'll see in these clubs is shaft length. These are both the eight iron, and as you can see, Callaway is weighing in there a half an inch longer. So the Callaway is pretty much designed for excessive ball speed, excessive distance, and just pure unadulterated speed. Moving on to the six irons now, and again, looking at the difference in the club heads, the Epic Forge does look a lot thinner. It suits my eye a lot more, and if I had to choose a club, I think it would have to be the Callaway just based on the premise of the head size. I mean, they both look great, but 
that's quite a big difference in size, isn't it? And it does amaze me how different these clubs are, yet how similar they are. So they've both gone for the ultra expensive premium PXG style outfit, because let's be fair, that's exactly where all this started, wasn't it? But just kind of taking it to the next level. But it does amaze me how the Forge obviously isn't designed for the Game Improver Club, whereas the TaylorMade P790 Ti generally looks like it is designed for that game improvement. So what about tech that goes into the P790 Ti? So we know the speed foam in there. We know that there's the through speed slot in the bottom there. One thing that's different in the P790 Ti as opposed to the P790 is this up to 119 gram tungsten weighting in the bottom that allows TaylorMade to crank the loft down a little bit, obviously have the weighting in the bottom and get the ball airborne for optimum spin rates, distances and everything else. So when we're talking tech, they're pretty similar, right? One thing that I do absolutely love with the Callaway Epic Forge is the grip that you get on the back. You get the Golf Pride, a line grip, and that's just, for me, seems a little bit more premium as opposed to with the TaylorMade P790 Ti. You do get the generalized Tor 360 TaylorMade grip. So I guess Callaway kind of wins that round. That felt awesome. Okay, we've gone short iron, we've gone mid iron. Let's now go long iron, four iron to be precise. Let's see just how these two clubs get on. So visual wise, again, the Callaway looks a lot smaller, a lot sleeker, but actually for a four iron, I'm gonna say the TaylorMade P790 Ti takes this round because for me, you just want that little bit behind it, don't it? You just want that little bit that you know is gonna help you if you strike it out of there, or there, or there, or there. Maybe not there. Now, from what I remember, this thing is an absolute beast. And looking down at it, it looks a bit intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. This is the Callaway Epic Forge. There's not a lot of loft on here. Fingers crossed. Toey. That's as good as you're gonna get. As good as you, the sound is so different as well. The sound is so different. The Callaway sounds more like a and the TaylorMade sounds more like a Does that do it? Yeah, I think that was quite good actually, I think. That was so reasonable. I said it couldn't get any better, and it's just got better by 16 yards. Okay, let's bring this to an end. Let's hit two more with the Callaway, a few more with the TaylorMade, and then have a look at the numbers. I'll tell you what, guys, what a shot that is to finish on as well. So that is a handful of shots hit with the ultra premium, ultra expensive, ultra special TaylorMade P790 Ti and Callaway Epic Forged irons. How do they perform? How do they stack up against each other for your money? Let's find out and let's do it now. So looking at the results here all together, the furthest club was the Callaway Epic Forged 4 iron. That went in 220 yards. The TaylorMade 4 iron was 215 yards, so five yard difference. The Callaway 6 iron, 203. TaylorMade 6 iron, 200. So again, three, four, five yard difference. Callaway 8 iron, 176. These are stupid numbers to be fair for 8 irons. And TaylorMade 8 iron, 170. So on average, we're talking a five yard difference there for the Callaway. And one thing I do have to touch on is just how low spinning all these irons are. You can see there, top the four irons, 3,000, three and a half. Six irons, six irons spinning at absolutely unbelievable, really low spin. So after all that, what do we think? The Callaway Epic Forged irons and the TaylorMade P790 Ti irons. Now, usually I don't talk price too much in videos, but obviously the title of this video, I haven't thought about the title yet, but it will be along the lines of how expensive and premium these irons are. So price-wise, the TaylorMade generally is about five or six hundred pound more than the Callaway, 
So I've got to say that realistically, for your money, I think you are getting a lot more club for your money with the Callaway, even though they are obviously way more expensive than your standard Callaway clubs, such as the Apex, the Apex Forged, Apex Pro. Looks-wise, I think the TaylorMade has to just sneak it. I think that's generally going on the basis of how good-looking the standard P790 is. The TI is obviously not quite as good-looking. It's sort of like it's slightly uglier cousin, but it still looks quite good, and I'm not a huge fan of how the Callaway Apex Forged look, to be fair. I think... They're almost a bit kind of too much. There's just a little bit too much going on for me. Now, performance wise, I'm not going to lie. I think I've struggled to game either of these clubs based on the fact that A, they go so far, B, sometimes they don't go that far. But then you do have to say that looking down at them, the Callaway does look a lot more pleasing to my eye because of the blade length and the top line and just it kind of looks down at the ball. Playability wise, I don't think you'd be able to kind of manipulate any of these clubs at all. They are designed for pure forgiveness, distance, speed, and everything else like that. And as for the numbers, obviously the Callaway go a lot further. They go about five yards further with each club, but you would expect that with the shaft length and with the loft differences. So generally, I think if you are in the market for a set of these irons and you do have that money to spend, I don't think you're going to be disappointed with either of them. I think they do what they say. I think they are more forgiving than your standard club in those range. I think they do go further than the standard club in those range, and they are jam-packed with technology. If I had to choose one today to go and play with, I think it'd be the Epic Forge, just based on how it looks down at the ball. Not necessarily because it goes further, because that wouldn't really matter to me. I think if a six iron's going 200 yards, it really doesn't matter to me if it's going 200 or 205. I'm going to be giddy with that anyway. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Also, make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that I bring you guys every single day. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content. And hit those comments below. Which irons would you choose out of the Callaway Epic Forged and the TaylorMade P790 Ti? Guys, as always, look forward to seeing you tomorrow.